Yeah guys, real quick, if you actually have any more questions about Windows optimization, some issues with Fortnite, which mouse and keyboard I would recommend you or which microphone you should get as a beginner on YouTube, just feel free to ask me all of them down in the comment section. I'm literally laying there every single day trying to answer all of them on my phone. And yeah, with that said, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, in this first step, I'm gonna show you how to repair your Fortnite game. And all you guys need to do is select your local disk where you got Fortnite installed. For me, it's local disk C. Then you gotta click on program files, gotta search for Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64. And as you can see, we've got all the important data here in this folder, which are needed to run Fortnite actually. And yeah, here on the top, we actually got two programs, which are called BattleEye and Easy Anti-Cheat. They're both 100% necessary to run Fortnite. And because I do assume if a Fortnite doesn't launch that these programs are maybe, I don't know, a little bit broken. So we're just gonna make sure to fix them right now. So all you guys need to do is click on BattleEye. And as you can see, we right now you got two applications. One of them is install and one of them is uninstall. And because our current BattleEye isn't working properly, we're of course gonna click first of all on uninstall press yes and now it's asking us here would you like to uninstall the battle eye service from your system yes of course battle eye service has been uninstalled so now don't worry guys straight above it we got the install button again so we're just gonna press that one and yeah it's installed again it doesn't ask you anything more it's just gonna reinstall it and yeah we just pretty much fixed here our battle eye because we got a fresh copy now on our pc and then next up, we're gonna click on the anti-cheat. This is the anti-cheat software of Fortnite. Sometimes there are some issues, especially if you haven't been like reinstalling your Fortnite for a really long time and you have some really old data from maybe even chapter two, season three still in the folder. Um, so all you guys need to do is click here on the easy anti-cheat setup.exe, press yes again. And as you can see, a new window here popped up. And yeah, we've got the current game version and we're just gonna click on repair service. And now it's repairing and yeah, installed successfully. It's finished, our easy anti-cheat should be working again 100%. And there's a third step, I think I'm gonna show you straight up here as well. Um, as you can see guys right now here, on the bottom we've got four exa datas and actually only these three are necessary for Fortnite. These are the client settings. And what I want you to do for every single one of these, maybe first of all, try to run Fortnite right now if it's working. If not, try to go back here um, to this timestamp and then just simply right click here on Fortnite client, go into properties and now as you can see this new window here showed up and just click on compatibility and um, make sure to set the check here on run this program as an administrator. As you guys can see, I did this for every single one of these free access here already, um, just to make sure that, that you've got all the permissions you need from Windows to actually run this program at 100%. And with that step, we're pretty much done here. So guys, and for the next step, what I want you to do is open your Epic Games launcher. And as you can see, we're right now here in the library and we got Fortnite here. And what I want you to do in the first place is click here on these three dots and click into options. And if you've got this high resolution textures package enabled, please make sure to unlink it because this causes some issues for tons of people. So just make sure to uncheck it and then you can pretty much click on apply here. And then we're gonna click again on these three dots and click on verify. And what this Epic Games Launcher is now gonna do, it's gonna verify all our Fortnite game data, which are necessary to run the game. And it's just gonna make sure that everything which is needed there to be, um, that it's pretty much there. Yeah, that's the best way to explain it. And yeah, it's just gonna search for issues. If you maybe have some corrupted files whatsoever. So guys, as you can see, my Fortnite has been checked successfully. Nothing needed to be downloaded here in the background. So it means that my game was working 100%. If it's downloading something straight up in the background, you already know you had some corrupted files there. And we're done here pretty much with this step as well. And yeah guys, for the final part of today's video, we're again here in the first folder as shown in the first step of today's video. And we're now gonna focus on the Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping exe because this is the main application to actually run Fortnite. And all you guys need to do is right click on it and search for troubleshoot compatibility. And what Windows is now going to do, it's trying to apply all the needed settings to run this program if it's not working properly. Um, so we're just gonna click here on try recommended settings and then we're gonna click on test the program or you guys can do it. It's gonna set the Windows compatibility mode to Windows 8. I know for a fact that this helps for tons of people when they try to like run programs and just gotta put the compatibility mode on Windows 8. This works for tons of people and yeah, then you just gotta click on test the program. I'm not gonna do it right now because my game is working perfectly fine. And if your game actually worked now with the compatibility mode set to Windows 8, all you guys need to do is right click on here, go into properties, go into compatibility, 
And make sure to put a check here on run this program in the compatibility mode for and Windows 8, it's already selected here. Just press apply, click on OK and you guys should be set to go. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This would help me out so, so much. And there's a huge giveaway guys at 4.5k subscribers. I'm gonna give away a full on SK61S and a eSports Tiger mousepad, which is gonna be just awesome. The whole package is gonna be around $100, I do believe, with the keyboard and the, and the mousepad itself. It's just amazing. And if you guys wanna enter, just make sure to read all the infos which are in the description. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome, I'm out, peace. Me. All these bitches on my line saying, can I be your lady? I already got a